In your eye on health this morning, colon cancer rates are rising in younger people. That is the message from the American Cancer Society in a report released earlier this month. I spoke with a local survivor who hopes her story can help someone else catch the signs early. So when everything was shut down and nobody really wanted to be going to the doctor, uh, my body was telling me that something was wrong. Thankfully, so, Becky Pruitt thankfully, listened. In the middle of the pandemic two years ago, she was diagnosed with colon cancer. She was only 44 years old. Cancer doesn't discriminate, you know, it hits everybody equally. So unfortunately, I, I did get it and uh, it wasn't expected for sure. It was definitely a shock. According to the American Cancer Society, colorectal cancer is still the third leading cause of cancer death in both men and women in the United States. One in five people who will be diagnosed will be younger than 55. That's one of the reasons that in 2018, the recommended age to get a first colonoscopy was lowered to 45. Becky was able to catch her cancer early. She had surgery and from walks for recovery, she now walks to raise awareness. These images from last Sunday at the Get Your Rear and Gear 5K in Fort Worth. She also has regular check-ins with her doctors. Well, I was very lucky that my doctor did take it seriously and you do have to advocate for yourself. If you know that something is wrong and your doctor doesn't feel that it's that serious, sometimes you have to push and maybe even get a second opinion. What would you hope that other people, especially women, take away from your story? I've talked to a lot of survivors who, when they were diagnosed, they were in complete shock because they thought, cancer can't happen to me, especially colon cancer, because only older white men get colon cancer. And that's the thought. And that's not true. Cancer hits all backgrounds. It hits men and women. It hits young and old. And Becky's symptoms included anemia and blood when she went to the bathroom. And she says to never ignore your symptoms. As far as why we're seeing more cancer in younger people, doctors say we need more research. But more than half of colorectal cancers are attributed to risk factors you can control, like diet, exercise, and smoking.